Hello everyone, welcome back to Goodroid Tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix Starfield audio is a uh, Starfield gamers having audio issue or audio desync, lip sync issue, stuttering, lag, chopping issue when you are trying to play the game which is happening for few users right now and how we can fix it so let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about what you need to do is if you install the game to the SSD you have to change to the external SSD you have to change the game which you installed to an internal SSD. This is very important. So as you can see uh, I'm not having anything connected over here. If you go back over here to this PC you will be understood that I'm, I'm having only internal SSD and not be connected to any external things. But some users when they're not having space they might be connecting an uh, external SSD and will be installing the game to it. So that is the issue. So you have to uh, move the game from external SSD to an internal one. You can do this from here. So just go over here in the game. Right click over here and go to the properties. Go to install it file. And most probably you will be having an option here in order to can uh, change this. You will be able to change the game. Uh, to uh, if you install it on any other SSD you will be able to change it so uh, you can do this that is the first step you have to remove the game or move the game from external SSD to an internal SSD that is what you have to do next one is all about nothing but for me the lip uh, sync was good when the language is being set into English and it worked for many users so you can do the same so just go over here in the game right click over here and go to the properties now if you go over here in the language you can set the language to English. You should be having many options. You can set the language to English. Once you set the language to English, you can close this and you can launch the game and most probably that's going to help you guys out as well. Next one is all about nothing but we have to verify integrity of game file. For this, we just need to go over here, right click and we have to go to the properties, go to the installed file and just click on the verify integrity of game file. So when you click on the verify integrity of game file, it will cross check every single uh, files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing, all these kind of issues will be fixed by this and you have to launch the game and that is what you have to do. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to make sure that you have selected the right audio device or else you'll be having the trouble. For this we just need to go over here in the search we have to go to settings. Now from here we have to go to the sound. Now from here you have to see that the speakers is the Realtek R audio. Same way if you go to the input you can see the Realtek R audio. So both the devices are the same so you have to do the same. We have to select the right audio device for both output and input you have to do the same. So once you set this up you just need to close this and we have to go back and we just need to try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to do is we just need to disable the steam input that it worked for many users. So just go over here in the game right click over here and go to the properties. Now from here we can go to the install it files not the install it. We can go over here in the controller and you can see there are um, three options you can disable the stream input you can use default settings we can enable the stream input so this by default this will be this so uh, some users end up in doing enable the stream input and they also try if they're having crashing issue but they ended up in this particular issue so you can disable the stream input and you can try launch the game so if that is not working we have to move to the next one that is all about we have to turn off dynamic resolution many things in the game so i'll be showing you this so let me mute the sound first or else you'll be having the trouble in the recording so let me launch the game once you the game is successfully launched what you have to do is we just need to make few changes in the uh, dynamic resolution fsr2 upscaling motion blur etc vsync all these things has to be changed so i'll be showing you how to do this so once after this we'll move to the next step So once you go over here you can go to the settings now from here in the settings we have to go for display and right now the first thing is all about we have to go to the dynamic resolution as you can see we have to turn this off once you turn off the dynamic resolution we have to move to the next one that is fsr2 so upscaling should be on the fsr2 and also uh, you have to make sure that is for the motion blur so for some users it cannot been keep complaining this so if you find over here the motion blur this has to be turned off and also if you go to the vsync over here you can see the vsync is turned on i have to turn this off this should be turned off and we have to make sure the dynamic resolution should be turned off motion blur should be turned off vsync should be turned off and the fsr2 upscaling should be in the fsr2 and once you're done with this one we just need to go back 
and when you go back you just need to try uh, playing the game once after you save this up you can try launching the game and that will be working fine because in my knowledge it worked for many users you can try this out these internal changes has to be made once after this if this issue is still there you can try with restarting the game just exit the game as well as restart the steam as well for this we just need to not just closing the steam here is not actually a restart and actually restart is you have to go over here in the settings go for exit you have to sign in back to the scene once again and you have to give all the credentials and that is going to work for you as as well next one is all about nothing but we have to make sure the volume mixer is correct so if you check here you can see the volume mixer is muted sometimes we launch the game and it will be muted so we'll be having the issue so we have to make sure the volume mixer should be correct this has to be made to 100 percentage if this is muted we'll be having the issue so make sure this 200 percentage and go to the settings now from here go to the sound over here and also make sure the volume of the both output and input is 100 percentage this is also quite important both has to be 100 percentage and once you're done with this one just close this and we have to go back try launching the game next one is all about nothing but we have to set the sound sample rate to 44 or 48 kilohertz so just go over here in the search we have to go over here in the settings we have sorry not here we just need to go over here in the control panel let me go over here in the hardware and sound from here we have to go to the sound now from here we have to go to the speakers right click over here and go to the properties go to the advanced over here and you have to set into 16 bit 4800 hertz or we can set this to we can also keep this to either 48 or uh, 44 to 48 anything can be given 16 bit 4400 hertz is also fine 16 bit 4800 hertz is also fine let me keep this go over here okay and you can uh, go this and once you set this up you can uh, try launching the game and also make sure the spatial sound is turn it off if it is turn it on off uh, turn it on we have to turn this off once afterwards we have to close this and we need to try launch the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to make sure the controllers should be uh, removed if you're having these kind of issues so just launch the game once the game is launched successfully and it is up uh, it is established fine and it is everything is fine just connect back the controller it worked for many users so you can try this out in my knowledge it worked for many so you can try this out as well next one is all about nothing but we have to disable the oculus for this we just need to go over here in the search and we have to go to the control panel so go to the hardware and sound go to the sound once again and if you find the oculus here right click and we have to go to the properties not the properties if you find the oculus here most probably the oculus will be here if it is there you have to uh, disable the oculus once you disable the oculus close this and we have to go back try launch the game next one is all about nothing but we have to uh, go for uh, we need to update the driver so just go over here in the search right click over here and go to the device manager now from here we have to go over here in the sound we have to go over here in the sound video and etc so if you find the intel r audio select this one and go for update driver and go for search automatically for drivers so just close this and we have to go back and we just need to try launch the game and these are the possible workaround which can be done i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications see you soon next week Video. Peace out. Bye-bye.